Have you ever pondered the deep-seated importance of Lord Vishnu's thousand names? Each name, a unique key, unlocking the divine, yet they all converge on a single, ultimate truth. Picture a boundless cosmic library where each name represents a distinct book, poised to be opened, ready to be delved into. Like any gripping book, every name possesses the power to whisk you away to a fresh realm of comprehension, a novel viewpoint on the divine and our position within the cosmos. Take for instance the name Krishna, a seemingly simple word yet it overflows with profound implications. It brings forth visions of divine frolic, cosmic love and the ceaseless dance of creation. This name calls for introspection, contemplation and ultimately the discovery of self. But remember, this voyage of self-discovery isn't passive, it mandates active participation. A readiness to dive deep into one's own existence, to question, to probe, to reflect. It's about nurturing a peaceful mind through meditation, preparing fertile ground for wisdom to germinate and thrive. Lord Vishnu's teachings provide priceless direction for this journey. They are guiding beacons along the path, directing us towards the eternal truths that reside within us. They implore us to acknowledge the multifaceted nature of life, to relish the beauty of transience and to comprehend the crucial role of Dharma, the eternal and inherent nature of reality in the grand cosmic order. Lord Vishnu's wisdom isn't merely about high-flown spiritual ideals, it's about weaving these insights into the fabric of our daily lives. It's about discerning the divine in the mundane, the sacred in the ordinary. And it's about the realization that every ambition, no matter how lofty, is within our grasp when navigated by this wisdom. To sum up, the thousand names of Lord Vishnu are not just names, but a thousand paths converging on a single destination, the divine essence within us. They are a thousand chances for self-discovery, a thousand reminders of our divine nature. So we pose the question once more, what's in a name? In the context of Lord Vishnu's names, the answer is everything.